the IIHG internship. During your eight weeks of this internship, you will shadow genetic counselors in different specialty clinics. This video is to help you navigate through the do's and don'ts in a genetic counseling session. These are some tips and ideas that we've learned through our time in the internship. Enjoy! I'm Haley and I'll be playing the patient. I'm Anna Forsyth and I'll be playing the genetic counselor in this video. And I do a cameo as a doctor. I'm Laura and I'm going to show you what to do during the counseling session. I'm Samantha and I'll be showing you what not to do during a counseling session. I will also be showing you what not to wear throughout the video. During the internship, you should dress business casual. Remember to wear close toe shoes, dress pants, a nice blouse, or if you're a guy, wear a button-up shirt. And if you decide to wear a tank top or a sleeveless shirt, make sure you wear a cardio. And your name badge at all times in the hospital. Some of the stuff you don't want to wear is for women, if you have a dress or a skirt on, you want to make sure that it is to your knees, and when you sit down, please make sure you cross one foot behind the other, as so. Also, for guys, just remember no fleece, no sandals, no shorts, and if you're going to wear a tie, just make sure it's not flashy and a little crazy looking. Okay, some of the things you should not wear are off the shoulder, kind of skinnier tops showing off this area. Should not wear shorts. And you should also probably wear shoes, closed toed shoes. Don't be showing your toes and your fancy pedicure to anybody. Okay, so um, before we see our next patient, would it be all right with you if I check their family history? Yes, thank you for asking more. Of course, you can take the family history today. You can also ask to participate in other parts of the session, like explaining risk, patterns of inheritance, and other things. Um, just make sure you ask the genetic counselor beforehand to see what they're comfortable with. Hi Haley, is it okay if my intern sits in with us during this appointment? Uh, we're gonna talk about some personal things today. Is it okay if it's just you and me? Of course. Take your cues off the patient when deciding when it's appropriate for small talk. In general, don't speak to the patient unless they speak to you first. How was your weekend? You know, it was a really nice weekend. How was yours? It was great. I got to be outside in the sun. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Sometimes talk you may think is appropriate may be inappropriate for the patient you are with. Parking is a very stressful situation for a lot of people who come to the hospital, so it's best that you just don't bring it up. Another topic that can be touchy is hanging out with your friends and family later and doing really fun activities because sometimes patients are coming for some really bad news and they might not like hearing how you get to go hang out with your healthy family members and it might come off as offensive. So, did you find a good place to park? Nice and close? No, I actually had to park in a parking lot like really far away. I had to walk a mile, but thanks for reminding me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I parked kind of close because I'm going to go hang out with friends afterwards and I wanted to leave right away. Awesome. Please remember to not wear any strongly scented perfume. Uh, be aware that some patients are really sensitive to smell and may not appreciate you wearing something so strong. So I just wanted to stack them for tomorrow's patients. I think we're going to be in the CMT clinic. What do you so... think about this mole on my arm? What do you think that means? So you're my age, Laura. What would you do in a situation? Would you get testing? Unfortunately, I can't answer that for you. 
Did they hear my age? So what would you do in this situation? Would you get testing? Actually, you know what? I think I would. My friend's first cousin had this exact same disorder, and she went and got it, and you know what she said about that? She was like... Uh, so Haley, let me just run to my office and grab the genetic test, so I'll be right back. So Haley, let me just go to my office and get the genetic test, so I'll be right back. So do you have any kids? Do you have, how many kids do you have? Do you not have any kids? Do you not want kids? Do you not like kids? What do you think about kids? Do you have any dogs? Remember not to bring your phone in uh, to clinic with you, and if you do have it and leave it in their office, please remember to turn your sound off. So Haley, I know this, this is devastating news, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about your diagnosis. And... Hello? <laughs> Make sure you're actively listening throughout the entire session. Please be engaged with the counselor and the patient so you know what's going on the entire time during the session. So Haley, do you have any questions about anything that we discussed today? Not really. I don't really understand why I'm even here. Sam, what did you notice about our session? So Haley, can you tell me a little bit about what your goals for this session is, what you're expecting? Yeah, so I kind of heard about um, option genetic testing and I was interested. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned some useful tips about professionalism. We hope you have a great summer and a successful internship. And remember, the number one rule to be successful in this internship is to be respectful to the administration staff. Always actively listening during a session. Uh, I forgot what else I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Business casual. Dressing like wearing. Nope. <laughs> oh wow, that was the beginning. <laughs> Do you have any kids? <laughs> Weekend. How was yours? It was good. I gotta hang out with my child. <laughs>